Have you ever engaged in a serious debate over which is better, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Have you ever played Smash or Pass using only characters from Star Wars and Marvel movies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the podcast for you. Listen to the Steam Gentleman, the podcast where an expert panel convenes to ask the questions about pop culture and social commentary that other podcasts are afraid to ask. Listen to the Steam Gentleman on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, Wrestling Fans International Association is back. That's right, the premier fan club association of the 1970s and 1980s has been revived and is back in business. Join today. It's free at the WFIA.org. That's T H E W F I A.org. You can also join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash WFIA 1969. everybody to the 1987 super mod we are in december everybody we are heading towards that christmas day this magical time of the year i wish you and your families the best during this time of year we are once again running the world wrestling federation here and the wwf continues its tour as we move on to the capital center in the land over mary maryland not marion but maryland <laughs> all right we are not Going to have this on television in any way, shape, or form, so we're good to go there. Absent workers, exactly what we expected to be out. Backstage incidents. What's going on here with Orndorff and San Martino? Orndorff was late. San Martino laid the smack down, I guess. <laughs> the rest looks like protege work here. Good stuff. Man, is that a great mullet. I wish I had hair like that still and I would grow with that dusty wolf mullet. All right, good stuff. Lots of protege work. That's a sign of a healthy company. For those of you that play TEW 2020 on the regular, you'll know that. All right, let's take a look at our card for tonight, everybody. Once again, a reminder, if it's got an asterisk, it means the match was changed or added to the card. In our opener, we're going to see Jerry Allen against Iron Mike Sharp. Debbie Combs is going to battle Sherry Martell for that world women's title Barry Horowitz and Steve Lombardi will face Brady Boone and Siva Afi in tag team action. Killer Khan will face Coco. Beware. Pat Patterson, the semi-retired Pat Patterson, is going to battle the one-man gang here in singles action. Davey Boy Smith is splitting off from Dynamite Kid for this one against the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Brutus, the barber beefcake, will face Greg the Hammer Valentine in singles action as two former tag team champions explode. The Magnificent Morocco is going to face his former tag team partner in Cowboy Bob Orton. This one could be the one that puts Morocco over the top in a face turn. This is a strange match right here, but it really happened. Kamala and Sika will challenge the Hart Foundation for the world tag team title. This is strange. This must have been a, a last-minute sub or something. Very, very strange. In our main event, everybody, we're going to see the Macho Man Randy Savage challenge. The Honky Tonk Man for that world. I'm sorry, that Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for us here for the introductions. Let's get to booking. And if you hear any drilling in the background, I apologize. They are doing some kind of work here to my apartment complex, and they are drilling with a hammer drill. It's extremely loud, and as I'm recording this, I'm actually on vacation. It's kind of exciting, so I sure as, sure as heck hope that this drilling does not interfere with my post-lunch nap. That's all I got to say, because if it does, I'm going to be pissed. Just warning everybody. All right, Iron Mark Sharp gets the win here over Jerry Allen. 
And again, I said I like Jerry Allen. I thought that guy was was pretty good and had a few things going for him. All right, Debbie Combs is going to challenge Sherry Martell here for that world women's title. We've got a lot of titles on the line here. Here's Combs. Here's Martell. The C indicates that Martell is the reigning champion. Here is Debbie Combs. And here is Sherry Martell. Or known as Sensational Sherry at this point since the heel turn. All right. Sherry is going to get the W, and it's going to come by cheating because that, everybody, is what heels do to defend their titles. They cheat. All right, up next here, we have Barry Horowitz and Steve Lombardi against Boone and Afi. Actually, it should be Afi and Boone. So we have Horowitz and Lombardi versus Afi and Boone. Another eight-minute bout. Here is Barry Horowitz. Here is Steve Lombardi. Conveniently placed the Siva Afi right there with him. And Siva Afi's partner is Brady Boone. Brady Boone could move. And really put together for a small guy. All right, so here we go. We're going to have Siva Afi get the win here. Because I don't know if he's ever gotten a win in this save. All right, Afi with the W. All right, that brings us on to the 10-minute bouts here in Killer Khan versus Coco Beware. We added this one. Khan versus Ware. For those of you that don't know, Killer Khan was a marquee draw. He was a big-time headliner. Uh, he faced Bob Backlund many times for the World Heavyweight title. He was also a main eventer down in Texas for the Von Erichs. Real deal, Killer Khan. He's at the end of his career here. He's getting ready to hang him up. He is not what he used to be, and that's why Coco Beware is going to get the victory over Killer Khan here in that 10-minute bout. Up next, we have Patterson and the one-man gang locking horns here. Another 10-minute bout. Patterson versus one-man gang. And boy, are they drilling. I hope you don't hear that. There's Pat Peter Patterson. Here is the one-man gang. Gang with the victory here, everybody. Patterson is at the very, very end of his career here. And now we have Smith, Davy Boy Smith, against Ted DiBiase. This is strange. I uh, The only thing I can think of is that Dynamite Kid was injured again at this point, which I can only assume is the case and the cause for this match. But it really did happen, so we're going to really have it here. All right, here is Davy Boy Smith. Here is Ted DiBiase. Ted DiBiase is getting a mega push right now, so he is going to get the win. And he's going to have some help from Virgil. There's the manager interference right there. Bam, this one's good to go. All right, up next here, we have Beefer against Valentine. And they're going, they're going 14 here. That last match should have been 12. We'll make the adjustment. So we have Beefcake versus Valentine. We're going to leave this one open-ended. Why not, right? Here is Brutus Beefcake. And here is Greg Valentine. Open-ended. Good to go. All right, that one was 12 minutes with the right thing there. Got worried for nothing, everybody. All right, here is the Magnificent Morocco against Bob Orton. Bob Orton Jr., as I like to call him. His dad is in this the latest version, Bob Orton Sr. So here we go, Morocco versus Orton. And since Morocco's going to get a face turn here, we're going to have him win. There's Morocco with the win, and then we're going to make sure to do a turn here. Um, I guess we don't have Magnificent Morocco. Set the turn. All right, so we'll leave this one as is for now. That one's booked. Brings us to our semi-main here. The weird. This is a really weird match. Two heel teams. 
I don't I don't get this one at all. Like I said, the only thing I could think of is there was a last minute substitution, but it's not like Kamala and Seek were just hanging out in the back in Maryland. Very strange. Alright, here are our world tag team champions, the Hart Foundation. Were they attempting to see how the hearts would go over as a face, maybe? I don't know. If anybody knows anything about this, leave a message below. Let us know. All right. Bert Hart here. Not Brett, but Bert. <laughs> He's going to get the win. That one's in the books. This brings us to our big main event, which is Macho versus Honky Tonk Man. Intercontinental Heavyweight title is on the line. Here is Randy Savage. Here is the dreaded Honky Tonk Man. Who can still cut one heck of a promo these days. All right, and Macho's going to get the win here. That's going to come via DQ. Yeah. This one is booked. Just about two and a half hours here. Let's go ahead and start this one. See how we do, everybody. Allen against Sharp. Sharp gets the win. 38. Sorry, 36 overall. Somehow 44 to 48. Drops us all the way down to 36. All right, Sensational Sherry gets the win over Debbie Combs here. Nice score for a ladies match here in 1987-66 overall. Good stuff. Up next here, we have Horowitz and Lombardi. And they are in there against Afi and Boone. And Afi gets the win with that Superfly Splash. 39 overall, everybody. Killer Khan and Coco Beware get us a nice rating here. 74. Good stuff. Where? With the win with that Bird Buster, formerly known as the Ghost Buster. One Man Gang gets the victory over Pat Patterson here with that 747. Good stuff. Very good stuff. All right, ooh, look at this score. Wow. Ted DiBiase gets the win over Davey Boy Smith here with that million-dollar dream. Of course, the interference from Virgil makes that happen. And Brutus Beefcake falls victim to the Hammers figure four. 79 overall for this one. Really good score. And here we go, Morocco and Orton. Morocco gets the win with that tombstone pile driver on Orton. 78 overall for those two. Here we go, Kamala and Sika against the Hearts. Get an 82 for this one. The Hearts get the win after the heart attack. And again, this is a very strange match. I don't know why you would have a heel versus heel match, but they did it. Uh, no explanation on my part. And the Hearts still drag Kamala and Sika to a really good match here. You know how this one would have gone and probably went in real life as Bret Hart just bumped his ass off for these guys the whole time. I'm sure that's exactly what happened. All right, 82 for those, and look at this main event, everybody. Outstanding. 99 overall as the Macho Man gets the victory over Honky over the Honky Tonk Man here by DQ. So Savage gets the win, but not the belt. That's the way it goes, everybody. That's how you piss off the fans. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and finish this one up. Hey, we get a gain. Good stuff. Let's point out Randy Savage. Let's point out what the gang did a good job here. And of course, we're going to point out Sensational Sherry, too. So great performance, good performance. Sherry had a great performance. All right, there we go. Savage is pleased. The gang is pleased, and Sherry is pleased, and Brad Drake is pleased. We're heading back to the main screen here, and we, of course, are going to move on to our next tour date here. That's going to be at the Civic Center in Springfield, Massachusetts. All right, but worry about that one for the next show. All right, our screen is getting ready to load here, everybody, and we are now in December, and I hope that all of you are looking forward to the holiday. I know it's uh, Thanksgiving to Christmas is pretty much my favorite time of the year, although I got to say I do enjoy the last couple weeks of May, and I really enjoy the first couple weeks of September also. So Michael Jackson's bad just hit the shelves. Yeah. All right, who won the belts in Pacific Northwest? Northwest, Hassan and Flowers. Strange pairing. Let's take a look at our incoming here. Bill Jordan is leaving Stampede. Okay. 
Yeah, we hurt the attendance. We had a sellout. You know it. I guess we didn't have a sellout. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for us for this one. For those of you that are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and leave us a message below. Let us know you found the channel and what you think of us so far. For those of you who are looking for more, you can find it over at Patreon, patreon.com slash Powercast Network. There you will find all of our spreadsheets. You'll get access to the latest version of Supermod. Get all of our shows early and YouTube ad-free and so much more. Everybody, check it out today. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. For those of you looking for us on social media, you can find us on Facebook.com slash groups slash 1987Supermod. And go ahead and activate your free, that's right, free membership with Wrestling Fans International Association by heading on over to the WFIA.org. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time.